he needs to make plays for Georgia Tech to win tonight. We are ready to go from McCannish Pavilion. Game two of our quadruple header. That was a good one in Winston-Salem to get it started. Duke on the road in the black trying to solve this Georgia Tech zone early on. They play zone 12th most of any team in the country. Jeremy Roach connects from deep back into the starting lineup. Really confused Duke and they're switching defense if they want to score just like that. What a block by Kyle Filipowski with a denial on Miles Kelly. They have blown their big lead over Illinois, so Josh Pastner said to us today it was about one of the worst visits you could ever imagine. It was really bad. He been, Josh I was trying to be nice about it and explain how bad of a visit it actually was. Because that was everyone's fear. It's not cap either, but like you yeah. said, lower leg ligament strain that'll keep him out. You know what it is? It's one of those terms that a coach can't pronounce, so you just say lower leg. <laughs> <laughs> Second three for Jeremy Roach. Despite being the number seven recruit in the country, that's what John Shire said to his pregame. Pass tournament saves it at midcourt for Georgia Tech with just two points, three minutes in. Until the start of him, jumper. Lively's doing what he does. I mean, he blocks shots and he rebounds. Tyrese Proctor. Off target from deep. Lively on the stick back. Lively's very active on both ends of the floor there. Got an offensive rebound last play. He's contested that jump shot as well. Debo Coleman connects. Needs to get more out of Debo Coleman. He's capable of it. I think he needs to get himself more in the offensive glass, get himself going in games. He's definitely has the physicality to play in this game in the post against bigger, bigger lineup of Duke. All right, Derek Lively. Filipowski knocks it down. Great start for Duke on the road. So Ryan Young check in for Derek Lively, who gave seven strong minutes out of the gates for John Shire. Mitchell turned the corner. A lot of contact, and Mitchell through that contact. Turns the corner here, takes the contact, and finishes with the right hand. Debo comes down on the weak side and blocks it. Filipowski just got met at the rim. Georgia Tech runs. Maxwell lays it in. Quickly moved for Young. Passing out of the post. Good interior passing. Young finishes and a foul. You just got to leave him there against Franklin. Late rotation down by Tri. Smith probing. Lively trying to stick with him. Javon Franklin flash, drives, and finishes. Great finish there by Javon, getting to his left hand, getting to his left hand off the drive. Against the zone, Roach into the mid-range, no. Lively's been good. Howard met him up top. Got Maxwell his... Hoist and hits. Transition again for Georgia Tech. Filipowski on the interior. Backs it out for Mitchell with seven to shoot. Proctor hits this time. They're going to concede three-point shooting. They know that. Pack in our zone, run out typical zone principles. Shoot ran free on the baseline. This is his second. Lively, another offensive rebound. Proctor for three. Now he's posting up Smith, battling the front. Filipowski. Oh, teardrop after slashing on the rip through. Just so skilled. He has just been incredible to watch his development and his confidence and his body's growing and the strength of just seeing how he's playing. He's just, there's a toughness about him that I think Georgia Tech needs to do more conscious effort of attacking when they get the ball in transition. They're looking too much to, to run their half-court offense, and I just don't think they can, those type of shots, it's a difficult shot there by, by Davon Smith. Javon Franklin is a lot smaller than Howard, but I think he's a better passer when you get the ball in that, that mid-post area. Couple of jump shots have gone for Smith, and John Shire wants a timeout. He's one guy that can make plays for himself and his teammates. He got a rebound in these baskets here. There it is. Smith got there and then tried to save it, threw it back out. Young underneath, scores. Text now in their man to man defense, switching up the zone a little bit. Good seal, good pass. Filipowski the flush. They want to force them to knock down shots, and right now Duke's making a majority text knock. Young. Going to work again, and Ryan Young is cooking. His Paduke bigs are up. They're denying that pass. They're not letting him catch it there at the elbow, and they're going to concede that jump shot there all day. Rodney Howard stops an 8-0 run. Roach drives and kicks. Now Proctor back for Grandison. Yes.
Coming up on the final 20 seconds of this first half. Looking to get Filipowski in the post. That'll do. Yeah. Five points, five rebounds, and now three blocks for Derek Lively. Kyle Filipowski's got 16 now. His versatility on both ends of the floor, and when they get Derek Whitehead back, it's going to get even better. Mitchell. All Duke out of the gates. When your big is a really good passer, that's not Rodney Howard's strength. Watch oh, there. what a lob for Lively from Tyrese Proctor. Man, you can just see that coming. Howard looking for somewhere to go. Now finds Miles Kelly with just two points until that three. Really competitive for the rest of the ACC season. A couple of ball screens from Lively. He rolls. Proctor floats for two. That's what his length and athleticism helps his team out at the defensive end. Like, he is the one true shot blocker there. He wants it again. There it is. Oh, and he throws down another. <laughs> and a trio of blocks. Now you're going to see the difference, and they're going to get Filipowski right there, and he's going to get that shot. It's just difficult. Now, now what do you do? And he got that shot, eliminating that pass. Proctor dish. Mitchell backs it out. Roach steps in. Two and three. His third one of the night. So the Tech's got to be careful with that. When Franklin, these guys start taking threes. That's not what they usually do, and that's not their strength. And I know you're down, you know, by a lot here, but Roach again. Franklin, the rebound. It is 19-3 Duke in the second half. Georgia Tech is one of ten this half. Until that three from Maxwell. I think that'll dictate what we see from this team going forward. Jalen Blakes playing with that mask for his broken nose. Grandison at the rim with two more for Duke. Grandison, great job of just knowing the shot clock. Student body tried to trick him a little bit there and give him a 5-4-3-2-1 countdown. Wasn't biting. No, not at all. Good finish from Javon Franklin. Derek is relieved at the results he got. Shire told us pregame that it's a ligament strain. It's not Achilles. Yes. It's not calf. Tyrese Proctor has been great. He's got a season high eight assists. Good feed for Young from Grandison. Maxwell driving on Blakes. Franklin again. He's got a 10 points now to lead Georgia Tech. With great length, and he's finished the last couple of baskets here. Grandison from the free throw line. They've got Smith, Moore, Franklin, Coleman, and Maxwell. The five on the floor for Josh Pastner. Subs on the Duke side with Lively and Shoot coming back in. And Grandison connects from deep. Maxwell backing down Shoot. Getting some run today for the first time in three and a half weeks, and Maxwell scores over him. Looking at his numbers from an offensive standpoint and expecting something different. But this is what he does right here. Extra possession. Kicks it out. They move it for Mitchell. On the drive! With the right hand. With the... He's going to be a force for the Blue Devils in the future. How good a defender is he? Him, I, Leaky Black. I, I think he's... Ignore the score. You just got to continue to play. Mitchell into the lane. Gets the roll. They got to get Brevin Galloway back. I mean, his injury from, you know, from scarier than Derek Whitehead's injury. I mean, get him back and get him back in the lineup and playing. And we'll see how long he's out. But Christian Reeves into the game. 21 in black for Duke. He flashes open with the stop. Coming up on two to go. Here at McCamish Pavilion. Reeves kicks out for Jaden Shute. Driving on Davon Smith. Top follow away for Shute and his teammates love it. When there's closer games that he can put you in the lineup. And so How about Jalen Blakes blocking the three-point shot from Maxwell. Blakes finishes plus a foul. Boy, did I get that one wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I got that one. Me, I got it wrong. Shoot scores as we approach the final 30 seconds. We're going to find out a lot about this Georgia Tech team next week at that Louisville game. Road game for the basement of the ACC. They got to come out and play. Credit to Duke basketball here today. Just an outstanding performance on both ends of the floor.